any time that act comes up, that, that I'm reminded of that, instead of me bowing up and saying, but I tried to, you know, I, I thought I asked forgiveness, it would be, you know, you are right, it was wrong then, and it's still, it would still be wrong today, and I, and, I'm, and I ask your forgiveness all over again. If it's hurting you today, if you remember it today, and it's, it's causing you to stumble, I just, I, because my attitude needs to be at the place of repentance, which is, it was wrong then, it will always be wrong, and I gotta live at that place of repentance toward that act that was 15 years ago or five minutes ago. Um, and, and that, you know, and, and usually, if, should those kind of things, because I, I will often, I have a tendency to repeat, I can be a repeat offender <laughs> in, in certain categories, and I don't want to be, but, I, but usually when I will say, you are right, I, was, I ask your forgiveness all over again for what I did back then that you still remember that hurts you. I, I, it, it seems as if that will do something within Well, within that's the example of the stronger brother helping the weaker brother. You know, there's places of hurt from the past that I still need reassurance. We're not going back there. And, I, and you know, God is doing a work of re renewing my mind. But I appreciate so much his willingness to say, you know, that, that and, and, and that's because we want, need to be reassured sometimes that that was wrong then and it's still wrong today. You, you know, one of the words that I used in the book was complete honesty and complete repentance. I used mm. the word complete, complete. there. Yeah. And, um, and one of the reasons yeah. I use that is, uh, and by the way, I'm part of a, I'm really enjoying, I'm part of a, a, a group, a discussion group on the internet of the Christian leaders. Uh, we have a thing called National Conversation on Revival and they're the leaders of various denominations and and ministries uh, that have a heart for revival. And uh, we were talking about recently a fallen leader uh, mm. and, uh, in, in the evangelical community, and we were talking about the, the sin there. Yeah. And there was some thing, you know, some controversy over, you know, the only time we ever get excited about something is when it's a sexual nature or whatever. Mm. And um, one of the things that, as, as we were writing, that I wrote is the problem is that normally, whatever sin it is, it's not by itself. Uh, it's like you know, it's like a gang member. When you find a gang member, he's normally not by himself. He's he's up to trouble with a group of people. Mm -hmm. And normally, when you find a sin, it's it's kind of surrounded by other things. And normally, sexual sins surrounded by lying, deceit, financial uh, wrongs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, lack of loyalty, lack of faithfulness. It's all these other things that that surround it. And I think what happens in our confession a lot of times in our repentance mm -hmm. is it's not complete. Mm -hmm. All those other gang members are never dealt with. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did this wrong. But then there's the, the hurt is, is, but you betrayed me. I thought you were loyal to me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I've got to deal with that too. Mm -hmm. uh, the, well, you lied to me. Uh, well, I've got to deal with that one too. Mm -hmm. And, and so when, you know, we really need, and it's not something you can do that, mm -hmm. as we talked, I think, before, where you just kind of go through your thing, and, you know, it's morbid introspection, but it's, it's, it's Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of allowing the Holy Spirit just to mm -hmm. dig deep in our hearts and show us what are the things associated mm -hmm. with this. I love Amplified Version of Psalm 32. It says, When I kept silent about my sin, my body wasted away as the fever yeah. heat of si summer. But then it says, When I confess my sin, and I love this, it says, Continually unfolding the past until all was told. And that's, mm. that's that place of complete forgiveness. That's, well, that's great. That's you know, great. just that, that the Spirit of God, and a lot of times, like in our relationship, maybe I snap at David, you know, and, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have snapped at you the way I did for not taking out the trash, whatever. Well, if I'll, oh. you know, and then I snap at him, you know, an hour later for something else, I have to get before the Lord and say, what is it really? Mm -hmm. It's not these things, but maybe it's right. something that ha didn't happen last week or the victory and the freedom comes when we really let the spirit get to the root of what really it is that, that we need to forgive, f forgive or ask forgiveness for. I'm going to ask Tex because we, we deal with this. I'm, I'm naturally more... Okay, let's let's analyze. I tell you, I'm analytical, and so I'll analyze this. And so I, I'm naturally more given to that. Texas, you're not given towards the analytical nature. So how do you deal with having to kind of dig through those things? Slowly. 
I think uh, I'm I, I'm more a private, and I mean even in our relationship, I mean we share heart to heart. But I think um, realizing that I need to do that because first of all, the Lord says we need to confess our sins one to another and share that. So I think that's one, one way for me, and also that that we would talk about it together and pray together and. Uh, it's a thought process of, well, if I tell you this, what I've thought or what I've said or what I've done, that you might reject me. And so I want to, I want to be a peacekeeper. You know, I want you to love me, and, and, <clears throat> and yet that's not true. It, it brings more turmoil, and so from my perspective. So is it just through prayer, through just trying that's to develop? <laughs> 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 Shut up. No. Um, no, it's coming and it, I get before the Lord and then it's saying, okay. And I stumble, it takes me about an hour to say something would take you five minutes to say, but uh, just trying to share with, you know, you or whoever and talk with kids or whoever and say, um, this is on my heart, I've been hurt or you've hurt me or I've hurt you and we need to talk about it and do talking. Yeah, you know, I think just as a, as a couple of outsiders watching you two, I, I think you two do an amazing job of, of lovingly confronting, lovingly walking in the light. It would be easier even in some things, Sammy, I mean, over the years with regard to your ministry and me kind of being a part of the board, there are a number of different things. It would just been easier for you to just ignore, not deal with, just, you know, let's just go on. But I don't, I don't think you're ugly, but I do think that, that you have the capacity to be, be loving and direct. And I think Tex, you, you have that, you, you have that as well. That. It, it, you, yours, yours may, it'll be the wrapper of, of Tex rather than the wrapper of Sammy, but I think you all walk in that. Now, we, we can keep going on this for I an know. hour. We're, we're, we, we've we've been, we're having a good time. But <laughs> I, tell you, I, think, I think what we, we ought to do, we, we just, because this, uh, this requires the wisdom of God. Yeah. To, to, it requires the renewing of our hearts and our minds. Sammy, why don't, if, if you would close us by saying anything else you'd like to say, but, but then also that, that you'd lead us in prayer okay. um, as we, as we finish, finish this broadcast. Um, let me just close by saying to, to all of you that, that there's only one source of forgiveness, and it's the cross. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about both sides of this issue, but the real answer is at the cross. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not going to tell you what all that means. You just think about it. You pray about it. You read the scriptures about what Jesus did on the cross, and you're going to find why, why the cross means so much to us as Christians. You go to the cross. You, I just want to encourage you to do that. I want to pray for you that, that God, by His Spirit, will just bring you back to the cross right now. So let, let's just pray together. Father, I want to thank you for Jesus. And Lord, I know there are broken hearts there are broken relationships mm -hmm. of, of people who are listening right now to this broadcast. And I pray, Father, that your spirit would do what we, we can't mm -hmm. do, Father. That your spirit would open up the depths and the height and the breadth and the width mm -hmm. of your love that's found on the cross and when, when Jesus died for us. And God, I pray that your Holy Spirit mm -hmm. would do such a deep work in every man, every woman, every child, every parent, every mm -hmm. brother, sister, every broken relationship. God, that mm -hmm. you would come with your grace mm -hmm. and do a mighty work. Take the things that we've talked about today. Mm -hmm. And Father, I pray that you would use them for your glory and that you would manifest your kingdom, that your kingdom would come your will would be done. Lord, I pray you would make us more like Jesus. That, Lord, through what we've talked about, that, Father, uh, the fellowship of your sufferings, that, Lord, we would know you in the fellowship of your sufferings, that we would know you in the power of your resurrection. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father, for what you're going to do in the lives of those listening. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much, David. Thank you, everyone, for just being a part of this. And we look forward to next week tearing down strongholds All right. next week. Amen. And uh, it, it'll be good. So God bless you.